Hey guys, today I'm going to take you through how to put a 4L80 into your Fox Body Mustang. Uh, I was actually able to make the stock shifter work here too. So the transmission fits without too much clearancing. I was a little bit impatient, uh, but I kind of mocked it up and decided on these few areas. Just take your time with this and get it right. You're going to have to smash these spots with the hammer to get the transmission to fit correctly. So after you've got your transmission mocked up, I ended up using this Stifler's Universal Crossmember. It's a bolt through design. It also offers much better ground clearance than the stock Fox Body Crossmember. I have to use an inch and a half long spacer here to get the transmission mount to fit properly on the crossmember. So for installation with the transmission centered, I loosely bolted the crossmember and then marked the holes. Don't forget to check things with angle gauges to make sure that your driveline angles are proper. So you see here I had to uh, relocate these bolt holes in the brackets just to get it centered on the subframe connectors. brackets for me mounted around 2 and 5 eighths of an inch behind the existing cross member brackets. So I just use this measurement on both sides uh, just to make sure things were even. You see here these uh, actually end up just bolting right through the subframe connectors or subframe depending on where your transmission is located. So here's the finished product after all the holes are drilled. Uh, you can see that things got great clearance. So for a flex plate, I'm using this ATP Z270. It uses these longer bolts. It's got a built-in spacer in it. So for the shifter, I've got the OEM four-cylinder shifter, and what I did is I measured the linear movement of both the shifter and the transmission arm. I then realized that I needed to notch out these notches a little bit to get the correct amount of movement so the shifter gets the transmission into each gear. So you can see here the shifter cable bolts right through the stock arm location. This used to be a linkage shifter. I had to make one custom bracket to hold the cable. You can see I still need to build a little standoff for the arm. Here's the finished product. Works great. I 
As far as headers are concerned, I'm using these Headman 45840. I had to put a little notch in the transmission and inspection plate to make them clear, but overall they fit pretty good. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.